So now we're going to play some more mill. We changed up the sideboard a little bit. We got rid of extirpates. That card seems a little, a little bit much. I just, everybody's on, everybody these days is on Emrakul. And extirpate's kind of bad against Emrakul. I'd much rather just have Soul Guide Lantern. I think Soul Guide Lantern is like the best sort of anti-recursion type of card because it covers a lot. There's a lot of different cards out there and like trying to extirpate an Emrakul is great and all, but that means that whatever cards that the Emrakul would trigger have already shuffled back in. I think Soul Guide Lantern is the best way to fight the random Emrakuls that are showing up. But the thing is with the Emrakuls is that most of the tournament winning decks, right, with the exception of creativity, like let's look at this prelim. Most of these decks aren't playing Emrakuls in the sideboard at all. Only certain decks are playing Emrakul. Like, here's an Emrakul. Burn. I don't think Burn's going to be playing an Emrakul. No. Burn wouldn't do that. Murktide. No Emrakul, right? So I don't think there's as much Emrakul. I mean, this tournament, yeah. Look at all this creativity. But I think the best thing you want against this kind of deck is just... Like, yes, you can surgical the Emrakul or extirpate it. But I don't think extirpate is where you want to be. I think you just want maximum Soul Guide Lanterns, because this is just the best version of that that you can play. And they're super cheap, and they're, worst case scenario, they're two minute cycle. So I think four of these is just going to be default sideboard end for a while, until the Emrakul phase dies down. And um, I think this main deck is great. I don't want to play Surgicals in the main. Like, the more cards you play that are like this in the main, the more situational cards that you play, the more raw power you lose. Like, these cards here are your raw power, right? So the more of these you play, the less raw power you have. These cards win games. These cards sometimes win game. You know what I mean? Sometimes these cards are great. But the vast majority of the time, I think you just want to stick with the heavy hitters, you know? Like, these 28 cards are just, like, the greatest cards in the deck. You know, unfortunately, you have to play... You have to play these nine so you don't die. But you just want to play these cards to just kill your opponents. So, that's my take. You just want to be the fastest deck you could be in game one. And then you play more sideboard games anyway. So then you can come up with the custom organization. And you could be like, alright, well, these are going to be good here. This isn't going to be good. And you can figure out a plan in the sideboard games. I don't think there's a reason to dilute the main deck. But that's just my take. So let's jam some let's jam some games. Let's jam some games. And we'll see what the meta's like. We'll see how friendly or unfriendly the meta is. Alright. Um we can kind of keep this hand and we kinda can't. We're on the play. We don't have blue. We just need a second, a third land, and then we can get blue. Plus we have trap. Plus we have like two removal spells. I'm gonna keep. It's not great, but this could be a sketchy one. But we'll see. We just need a third land to get to the blue. But most of this format resolves around killing a monkey. A Ragavan. A Myria. Did I say killing a Ragavan? I meant killing a champion of the parish. Well, let's kill that. Okay. We really need to draw land. Alright, well that's not a land. Uh, what is this? Who plays Amiria? So this is the mono white humans deck that Hank the Obese was playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. The White Shoal, yeah. It's adorable. Recruitment Officer. Alright, well, we lost. <laughs> we took a gamble. We lost. It's not over yet, but it's over. It's not over, but it's over. 
We're basically at one third chance to draw land every turn. Peacekeeper? Sure. Brothers 4 Limited. Oh, this card's f crazy. This card's very good. I mean, it's Savannah Lions. Look at how power crept this is. It's a relevant tribe. It's another relevant tribe. Right? It's multiple relevant tribes. And it... Uh, well, just for today. Just for today. It was requested. Uh, oh, that's a good one. We could do... <laughs> all right, all right. Now we're in... What'd they name? They named Murderous Cut. So, let us think. Let's kill this Mutavolt. Let's get an island. And let's play a Ruin Crab. And let's Archive Trap. Let them draw. That's okay. All right, so one thing we need to learn is that this deck has a very high CMC. Kind of? No, this isn't too high. Recruitment officer, yes, yes, yes. This card needs to die. Uh, block that. All right, so they have... Hmm. Hmm, we need to think now. Let's see what we draw. If we draw a fetch land, oh baby. We might end up playing he drunk. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's think. So, yeah. Let's go he drunk crab. Let's go he drunk crab. Let's play this field of ruin. Now, I think one of the triggers we need to use on ourselves Right? We need to put one of these triggers on us. So that'll give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is enough to cast a cast a murderous cut on the the Adeline. Right. So now we go murderous cut. I'm doing it now, so we don't walk into God knows what. And we could have we could have paid the one and exiled this, but we want them to draw a card at this point. We want them to draw cards. Because we want to kill them. Yeah, that's the plan. The plan is to not die here. All right, how do we not die? We go block, block, block. Take four, seven. We're not dead. All our dudes live. Okay. Fetch land. Fetch land, please. We have a lot of play here. We have a lot of options. Okay, so we play this. That's a million. This is nine times two, 18. Plus this, get this. See ya. All right, trigger, trigger. All right, bonk, bonk. Uh, now we crack this. Get an island. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All right, so we can feel the ruin this, or we can just fractured sanity them. Uh, I like the feel the ruin. I guess we tap this like this, so we can do both. Should they have a solitude for our crabs for some reason? All right, so here's the thing: we got to check out their deck. They have kind of a high CMC, randomly. Right? Like, they have these Emiria's Calls. But that's kind of it. But Emiria's Call is pretty high for CMC. Okay. What do we want? 
I think we want Crypt Incursion. I think we want Explosives. And I think we want Bridges. I think we want these cards. Yeah, yeah, I mean... The thing that, that worries us, right, isn't the one ones, right? The thing that gets us are like the two twos and stuff. The uh, the Adelines that are like seven whatevers, right? No, I don't think they were playing Yorion. Let's bring in these. Let's cut Tasha's because of the uh, set random expensive cards that they're playing. Let's cut Fractured Sanities. Let's just play more interaction here. Let's cut these cards. Actually, let's keep... Let's cut these. They're not searching. Yeah, most of the cards that we care about are like... The cards that we care about are their Adelines and their creatures that have been hit with uh, their... Champion of the Parishes and stuff like that. And all those cards will be got by Bridge. I queued up with 12 Aldrazi. Jace is the place. Well, we're about to find out how Bridge is. Let's see you in the league. You've been watching too much Spike. We're just telling everybody to play Emrakul. No Emrakul. Uh, I should put that in my thing. Emrakul free zone. All right. Cavern of Souls. Champion of the Parish. Sure. Bonk. Hammer is a band word. <laughs> we should. We should do that. All right. Luminarch Aspirant. Uh, okay, so this resolves. I'm gonna kill it. Just gonna kill that. Then next turn we can drown this. <laughs> Hopefully I don't play Adeline here. Champion. Uh -huh. Champion of the Perished. Mutavolt. We could kill the Mutavolt. Is that too mean? Should we do that? No, we have fucking a field of ruin in our hand. We should definitely not kill the Mutavolt. Alright, let's go one, two. Kill you. Go to 16. No big deal. Play Jace plus. Jace is at four. Jacey. Bonk. God, this Jace is so good. This Jace is so good. What? We're not doing anything? Why are we not doing anything over there? What's going on? Wait a minute, what's going on over there? Why didn't we at least attack Jace? What's going on? That's weird. That's weird, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's go Fatal Push this. Then let's crack this. Get Island. Kill that. Yeah. Yeah. You is exactly what Mercurio said. Sorry I missed the I missed the text. But it's basically what Mercurio says. You pay 10% of whatever you want to get. So if you want to get a thousand tickets, you pay a hundred bucks. If you want to get three hundred tickets, you pay thirty bucks, and you can uh, rotate it up and down. 
And you can change it per week. So, like, if you want to play Mill for a week, you could go to 200. If you want to play Merc Tide for a week, you can move it up to whatever. You know what I mean? You could set it and forget it. You know what I mean? That's, like, the advantage of it versus the other the other uh, different services. The other service, which shall be remain, shall remain nameless. One, two. Field that. This is our last basic. Play this. So, uh, plus here. One, two, three. Bonk. Okay. Well, this is snaring bridge is completely irrelevant. Comp well, maybe not completely useless if they named Jace. So, like... It's quicker than Mana Traders. Mana Traders sometimes, like, has a really rough time where you just won't get your cards for whatever random reason. They'll just be like, no, you can't have your cards today. All right, so let's uh, activate Tar Player Mills three times. So let's mill one, two, one, two, three, four. Let's have them mill 15. And let's play a land. And let's pass the turn. And well, in the beginning of combat, we'll fatal push the champion. That was easy. So we were going to fatal push the champion, right? Fatal push the champion. And then at their end step, we would visions. To fill up our hand and then untap plus the Jace. No, I mean, they're, they're locked out to the bridge. What answers do they have to the bridge? You know, if you're an aggro deck, you know, what answers do you have to ensnaring bridge if you're just all in on whatever? All right, this hand's pretty sweet. We have our. Fancy new Jace. Oh, I should put on my blue hoodie for this. Oh, I'll be right back. I forgot. I forgot that doesn't have a hood. Hold on a minute. My cat is doing something weird. Is... Is your cat named Taco? Hello. Alright, so we're waiting for Taco. Who would name their cat Taco, though? Only the craziest of crazies would name their cat Taco. So, what can we do? My dog is named Kimchi. Only crazy cat dudes. <laughs> Came their cat Burrito. My wife's dog has his name Taco. That's cool. Well, I'm sh I apologize... I was taking a shot at another fellow, like, has name Taco. It's a good name. Is it short for anything, Taco Bell? All right. Let's play, let's play the art game while we, actually, let's do Wordle. Enchant Wordle. All right. Let's name a cat Regal. Regal Caracal. Caracal. It's not a cat. It's been ruled out as a cat. So it is a rare creature. It's not white. It's lower mana. And it's from back in the day. Let's try a four mana Theros blue card. Let's try Prognostic Sphinx. Okay. Oh, that's five mana. Fuck that up. All right. Well, anyway, it's from before this. Taco Cat is the same forward and backwards. That's true. Uh, it's not blue. We could try... It's not a blue card. So let's try... Uh, let's try something from here. Let's try... Dark Confidant. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's not black. Not these colors. It is a human, though. Or a wizard. And it's from before this. 
So it's probably three mana. Let's try it. three mana red. Three mana red rare human from here. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be Vendillion Click because it would be blue. Uh, let's try Spirit Monger would be black. Mm. It's part human or part wizard. Let's try. Uh, ball horde. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's a that's a crazy guess. All right, I guess the other human barbarian is uh. Jessica, Warrior Adept? No. Alright. So, it's a human barbarian. A four mana human barbarian. Four mana human barbarian. It could be Pillaging Horde. <laughs> Alright, we got it. When Pillaging Horde comes into play... Discard a card at random, or discard a card from your hand. Games played, seven. Games won, seven. So, uh... Okay. You have to turn. I found him home in a cardboard box. He ate some cardboard, and he's gonna puke. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's play this, and let's pass the turn. Hmm. Is this a crab on crab mirror? Bonk. Bonk. We can't F6 because we want to archive trap them. They are aware of the archive trap, it looks like. I guess we got to archive trap them. Even if this walks into a counter spell, I mean. It is what it is. Ah. It's this new deck that people are playing these days. It's called Murktide. It's very new. Not a lot of people are playing it these days. It's... Rather fringe deck, I'd say, these days. Nobody really plays it. Yeah, they're gonna Murktide here, and they're gonna hold up Spell Pierce. And I'm gonna lose to it. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So. We really need to cycle here. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, hmm. Let us start the... So they obviously have... A sp hmm. They obviously have Spell Pierce. There's not much we can do. We have to just go for the win here. No, this is better than Jace, right? If they if Jace resolves, we, they just ignore it. They have nine cards left. We're probably dead to another Murktide. We're dead to Murktide plus Bolt. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Yeah, I would prefer to have not drawn four Jaces. I'd prefer to have drawn maybe a... Four Jaces to draw is too many. The opposite of poker, where four of a kind is very good. Sometimes magic four of a kind can be not the best. Uh-huh. I mean, if they don't have a counterspell, they're dead. But I'm feeling they have a counter spell. I need the Krabbies. <laughs> Alright, we go to half our life. Do you want to be the best draw? Probably a. The best draw would be Fractured Sanity, so we could just cycle it and win the game. 
That'd be the best draw. Fractured Sanity. That's the worst draw. What a shame. What a shame. All right, well. Bop. Bop. Bop, 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 If they have a counter spell, they win. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. If these cards were won over, if, if like, we were one card deeper, and we had this land in our hand with this crab, we would have won. If we had this, we would have killed this and killed that, and we would have won. Oh, well. All right, what do we want? We want Ensnaring Bridge and Missile Disputes. We don't really want to tap out main phase to play Fractured Sanity. Uh, the Surgicals are kind of rough because they play so many different types of counter spells. They play Flush of Storm, Spell Pierce, Mist, Met Mental Misstep, whatever the new one is. Sophnium, thank you for the four months. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I think we cut the Fractured Sanities. I think we keep in Tasha's. It's still a really powerful card. I'm trying to play Mill. He's puking. Be right back. Poor kitty. Poor kitty. Too much cardboard. All right. Well, we can play the art game. While the cat's puking. While the cat's puking. We'll play some art game. Where the hell is it? I have way too many friggin' stupid things here. Gotta clean it up. Art game. Vintage. This is from... It's like trapped in a cemetery. Or locked in a cemetery. The... Locked in the cemetery. And then we have Ensnaring Bridge. We know this card. Okay. What stupid awaken spell is this? It's like uh Zendikar Rock Concert. Is this a waste? Awakening zone? Uh Oh, it might be waste. Wall of Resurgence. All right. I know this card. Words of Binding. Look, because the, the purse is being binded by words. Okay. What is this? This is a one mana 03 with banding, I think. From like a million years ago. Uh... All right, uh, we have crab, we have land, we'll keep. Oh, uh, this is the one two from Throne of Eldraine. It's uh, got double strike or something. Oh, goodness. One two double striker from Throne of Eldraine. Hmm, Raging Red Cap. Mercurio Blue. Always on point. No. Demonic Taurus Laser? What? Infinity Stickers. Demonic Taurus Laser. Oh my god. I think of all the stupid shit that Wizards of the Coast did last year. And they did a lot of stupid shit. Like, an unbelievable amount of stupid shit. The fact that they made this commander shit legal in actual real formats drives me crazy. I cannot tell you how much I hate this everything about this i mean you want to do this stuff let people play it in commander let them rule zero it no one's gonna give a fuck 
Yeah, it's just so stupid. Yeah. It's so dumb. Like, why? There's a legacy tournament. There's like some legacy tournament uh, where some dude was playing. Some dude uh, was playing uh, eight rack in legacy, and just because he wanted to troll, let's see if it's here. It's probably not going to be here. I think my homie sent it. Uh, where do I find it? It's the Harayuya thing. Legacy, 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 legacy. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to page two. Uh, I guess it's not here. Demir Delver, Reanimator. It's not that I don't like balloons. I don't like the fact that this stuff, like... It was fine when it was silver bordered, right? Like, let this stuff be silver bordered. Nobody cares about silver bordered stuff. Let, you know, have fun, do whatever. Yes, I agree. Some of the cards now in Commander are so pushed. And they make games not fun. Like, Dockside Extortionist? Not this. No, not this. Uh, uh. Uh. I do love cats. All right. Okay, so they're going to try and bolt my... He drawn crab here. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's just like, if you want to have it and you want to do a casual thing, that's fine. But don't make us have to give a shit about this stuff. Don't make me have to care about this. Uh, I guess we just trap them. Trap them in response. Okay. We really need some help here. Our hand's kind of bad. Oh, that's that's good. That's a good one. It's okay. It's his fault because he's an idiot. This is how I feel about a lot of my friends when they say stuff. They're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, it's, his, it's okay because it's his fault because he's an idiot. <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to admit, but sometimes I feel that way about my friends. No, not chat, just, you know, people. All right, we're saving this in case we have to fatal push. I don't know. Yeah, not chat, just people, especially chat. I mean, yeah, especially chat sometimes. Okay, so we're going to hit this. We're going to hit this during their draw step, I think. Let, uh, let's crack this. Let's get a Swyland. Let's get a Swamp. Actually, let's wait. I don't know if I want to hold up the Fatal Push or if I want to hold up the Mystical Dispute. That's the real issue here, right? Like, if we do this now, we, we only get to hold up one. And I want to, like, determine which one I want to hold up. Expressive iteration. I'm just going to counter this. Neckfire. Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, in, I'm in, a, in the tank here. Thank you. I guess we could go one, two, mystical, mystical dispute this. Let's take them off red. Get an island. 
They can fight back here with like a spell pierce or something. But if they do that, they kind of waste the iteration. But I don't know. Maybe they're just looking for a land. All we have to do is not die to a giant Murktide. Which if they play a Murktide here, we just drown it. And we're good. We just drown it and we're good. All right. Into the tub. Do we want to feel the ruin this one? We play this. We can go one, two, drown, hit this. But then they can defend this. I think we just kill this thing right now. All right. Outland Liberator is sweet. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. And I think it's just the fact that you can use it to outplay people is better than the proliferate can canker bloom stuff. It's also better than might. God damn it. That sucks. We're going to lose now to that. <sighs> and this, these two Murktides took them off of the Visions Delirium. That's very frustrating. Okay, well, let's take him off that. Murktide is the bane of this deck. It's always been the bane of this deck. Unfortunately, it shall always be the bane of this deck. But we have some draws that get us out of this. We have some draws. But Murktide Regent, it basically comes down to, do they have Murktide Regent in hand? Because, like, imagine if they had Ragavans, we would just won this game. We would have just won if we had Ragavans. Alright, well, we'll cast this and see if we get 30 cards. GG's. We got shredded by them. Absolutely shredded by them. I guess we could have kept... The Mystical Dispute for a Murktide, which is maybe what we should have done. But them having the Murktide. If we give them time to develop a good mana base and stuff, we probably would have got wrecked anyway. Alright, well. Yield through the turn. Mishra's Factory. Okay. All right. Against Mistress Factory Gamers. Mm -hmm. We've drawn very few crabs, I know. The games that we drawn crabs, we've won with them. Everyone's on Emiria these days. What the F? That's very weird. All right. Cycle... Uh, ephemerate. That's interesting. Um. Well, let's just start doing it. Let's just start doing it. 47 to 12 cards. Uh, Solid Dude, Archon, Arbiter, Stoneforges. We hit three, three Stoneforges. Kind of funny. We hit to the three stone forges, which is ironic because we actually want them to have stone forges, because because they turn on our archive traps. Okay, here comes Leon and Arbiter. Oh, it's Thalia. Even worse. Oh, there's Arbiter. Show me, show me a ghost quarter. Oh yes, you're just the greatest. Oh, I hate you so much. Just such... Oh my god, I hate you. I hate this so much. Do I hate this card? Alright. Well, let's just play this. This is... They're doing it. They got to do their little thing. They got the Leonardo Arbor Ghost Quarter Me with the Thalia. 
They're so happy. I mean... Uh, is this going to be, this is going to be Leon and Arbiter. This is going to be, I don't know what this is going to be. Archon of Amiria, yeah. Yep. Yep. I guess I wait till the end step. I guess I wait till the end step. <laughs> All right, pay for this one, two, crack a this tapped. It is apparently tax season right now. I would really much like very much to draw a basic land here. Oh, that's that's a good one. Uh, let's see. I guess we're just playing this tapped, and we have to drown one of these. We're not dead. Calm down. Calm down with the word dead. We're not dead. What the hell is this? This. This kind of shit. Maybe not this kind of shit. But... We're, no, we're fine. Right? Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Alright, so what are we going to kill here? We kill the Thalia. What do you have? Oh... You. Ah, fuck you. All right, now we're dead. Now we're dead. All right, let's go. Crypt incursion in. Tasha's out. Bridges in. Explosives in. Uh, we can shave a trap. They're not searching. And uh, we can save. A fractured sanity. Whoa! Whoa! Listen, don't take it out on me, PT. Because they still have Stoneforge Mystics. Don't take it out on me because you lost in Vintage. Don't take it... Don't bring that bad juju around these parts, PT. PT, lost in Vintage. He tried to get me to play in the Vintage thing, and I was like, I can't. I have to play a good format that people are going to want to watch. <laughs> and he's like, no. Hmm. Hmm. I believe. I believe in Stoneforge Mystic. I believe my opponent is going to play a Stoneforge Mystic. I believe. Cool. Joke's on you. I don't have another land. Joke's on you. I don't have another land. Yep. Motherfucker. Why no Surgical? Surgical is a very reactive card. Cool. Surgical is not our best mill life. Surgical is just so situational, right? In game one, don't you want to just kill your opponent? Why would they hit the O2 when this is an O3 and can block this? Block. Thank you. Thank you, Bass and Jay. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, surgical doesn't do anything. What would I do with a surgical here? Like... 
I mean, we only need to draw lands. We have a 3-2. They have a 2-2. Two -two. Look at that. Look at that. We got him. Got him on the ropes. Got him on the ropes. Yeah, Surgical is just... Surgical is so situational, and most... What decks do you want Surgical against? You could just sideboard it. Mm, good. You can just sideboard Surgical. This card's so stupid. Uh, oh, we have eight turns. Yeah, then just sideboard that in against them. You know, then sideboard against those decks. If you have Surgical and your opponent has like an 8-8 eight -eight Murktide, you're just going to feel like an idiot. You know? I mean, it's good against certain decks, but that's what the sideboard's for, you know? Just board it in against decks that it's good against. That's my take. It does not help you kill your opponent. That's my take. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? I can't win a goddamn game with this deck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm, it's not very good for us. Not very good for us. Well, we kept a risky one. And all we need to do is draw lands, but they had three ghost quarters. Alright, we'll concede this one. That sucked. That sucked. <laughs> yeah, that card just is so miserable to play against. I don't think it's what you want to be doing in game one. And you play more sideboard cards anyway. You play a lot of sideboard games. Alright, so we have Crab. We have a turn one Crab... But, I mean, if you like Surgical, then play Surgical. That's the important thing. But... Like, what would you want to... Sur like, if you had a Surgical in this hand, how would you feel about it? You'd be like... You know. It would be not always the best. Okay. Like, you could Surgical this. Meh. I think in game one, I just have the most possible mill stuff that I can have. I'm just going to cast two Tashas and kill them. Goblin Engineer, huh? What are you going to engineer for? Goblin Engineer, eh? Goblin Engineer, huh? They got a Sundering Titan? What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, well, Surgical will be great against that shit. Do we want to just go Tasha's? I think I'm just going to Tasha's them. We could kill this, but this can't bring this back. Alright, let's see what they're going on with here. That milled 15. Okay. Well, they're trash for treasure here. Search code would be good here. Yeah. But they don't have a trash... They don't have another artifact to sack, so they can't get that back. And get it back next turn. A portal to Phyrexia. Springleaf drum. Alright, so we'll hold up the drown next turn. Hmm. 
I guess it's a question of do we hold up the drone or we just try and kill him. I kind of feel like we should just try and kill him. Right? Well, what, how much CMC is going to be left in their deck? No. It does depend on the draw. It does depend on the draw here. I guess we have two drowns. So I suppose we just hold up a drown so we don't get wrecked by one of these. All right, we'll hold up a drown. Pathway. We'll hold up a drown, then next turn we have Tasha's plus drown. Lil Brisket. What's the little brisket up to? Yeah, Tasha's not likely to kill. They're going to have expensive stuff like this in the deck. But we can still at least do stuff, right? We can drown. We can... No, no. Uh, yeah, they're going to have at least two more daredevils. Maybe one more daredevil. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Okay. What do they got? <laughs> Alright, here comes the trash for treasure. Trash for treasure. I will... Counter target spell. I kind of don't want to crack these in case they bring back. I kind of don't want to crack this. Because right now, if they do bring back Sundering Titan, it only hits one island. Dashes. 13 cards, huh? Alright, so we got the Oval Chaser. Oval Chaser. How many trash which has one? Two, three. There's one trash for treasure left in the deck. Which we probably don't have to worry about. I mean, it's one in 20 or two in 20 that they have it. Phyrexian Dragon Engine. That's fine. Okay. And Tasha's. All right. Let's take a look at their deck. Hmm. Okay. So it's a reanimation deck with uh, Asmos and such. Okay. We want Soul Guide Lanterns. Uh, I think we kind of maybe want... I don't even think we even need Surgical against this deck. Right? Soul Guide Lantern is just better. And I think it's an Aspiring Spike deck. Maybe we do want the Surgicals. But it's definitely an Aspiring Spike deck. And he's def they're definitely going to be playing an Emrakul. Right? So if they are going to be doing that, I feel like we want Soul Guide Lanterns. Just sort of works better against the Surgical. And I think maybe we shave a Visions. Maybe we shave some Tasha's. Because they didn't really seem that great. And did we see Urza Saga? No, we didn't, right? Mm. Let's cut all the Tashas. They weren't really that great. And maybe we want one bridge. So maybe we do want the surgical, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, we have crab. We have crabbies. Now, I think that they're an aspiring Spike deck. I think I saw Spike play this list. And Spike loves to play Emrakul. So, I imagine this person is going to be playing an Emrakul. Using that little bit of logic. 
I imagine they're going to have an Emrakul or two. Depending on how hateful they are. But... Emrakul is a problem. Library. Cookbook. Uh, I'm going to play the Sheldock first in case they have... Let's go with uh, Jace. Alright, so the cards that we're scared of are Blood Moon. Kind of scary. Blood Moon's kind of scary. I don't know what they're going to have, right? There's no way to really know. But Blood Moon would be tremendously detrimental to us. Alright, let's go this... Crack. Um, I guess we'll get an island here. Don't really want to go too ham on the milling until I have uh, some kind of way to control their graveyard. Oval chasers, sure. They get both of them back. How broken! How broken! All right, so they're going to have unlimited treasure, basically. One, two. Engineer, sure. Engineer is going to put Sundering Titan, I guess. Portal to Phyrexia. That card's pretty good. All right, let's draw Soul Guide Lantern. Well, there's no Soul Guide Lantern here. That's unfortunate. Uh, I kind of want to... Well, let's just play this. Get the most mill in. Let's just mill as much as we can. And we'll at least learn if they have an Emrakul. Right, let's crack this. Get another island. Alright, one, two, three, Fractured Sanity. They do have Saga for the next game. The, the reason we'd want to think about Saga is Saga works with... Uh, Saga makes... Okay, there's the Emrakul. Well, we got rid of their whole graveyard. So, alright. They do have an Emrakul. It would be nice to have a surgical for that, but at the same time, if we had a Soul Guide Lantern, we would have got all that. But we kind of nullified their, their nonsense. So we're not going to get Trash for Treasured this turn, which is nice. But we are going to have to have to find a way to deal with that stupid Emrakul. Which is not nice. It's going to take a while here to get to get through this game. As long as they don't have an Asmo. Asmo would be an issue. Okay, so let's draw Soul Guide Lantern, please. Well, another crab. I'll take it, but I'm not going to be happy about it. I guess we could play the Jace here. I guess we can play the Jace here. One, two. All right, let's play Jace. And I think that we, we just plus the Jace here on this. Maybe we're supposed to get value from the Jace and draw, but if they had a Galvanic Blast, they might have killed one of our crabs. So we kind of assume that they don't have a Galvanic Blast. This does let them get back a Pyrite Spell Bomb. Which does let them hit our crabs. Which does kind of suck, but at the same time, we can't really mill them out until we get rid of the Emrakul. Portal to Phyrexia. Sure. Trash for treasure. Gross. Okay, that's pretty good. We can Odawara it, though. 
Put our creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. It's Phyrexian. There's no... There's an Engineer. Hmm. Hit Jace, sure. So we'll auto -war this. Let's bounce this to the hand. Play the land. Plus here. I mean, against the deck that where surgical would be really good, right? Maybe I should have surgical for this deck. I'll probably bring surgical in on game three for this deck because of the Emrakul. But I really just want... I need some form of graveyard interaction. I wanted to keep the mill. It wasn't 100% that they'd have an Emrakul. I should have plussed on the Epicure instead of the Engineer, too. But it's okay. Asmo. Well, if we draw a Soul Guide Lantern, we have them pretty close to dead. Yeah, see, I should have hit the... Should have plussed on this, but it should have plussed on this. Because now they can go, I guess not. I guess I'll just plus on the Asmo. All right, Watery Grave. Uh, this Jace isn't going to live. I need to cash it in for a card. Turret player mills three. And... Oh, boy. This isn't good for me. This is not good for me. What's up, Chris? How are you? Nice of you to come out of your Diablo and join us. Nice of you to leave the Diablo layers. Yeah, Jace is dead. Uh, so we could kill the Asmo. Yeah. We're just not drawing our sideboard cards to stop their graveyard stuff. Phyrexian portal, you say. It's turn seven. And we have a bunch of lands in our hand. What are we discarding? We're discarding making a food. One, two, unearth that. Sure. Discarding what? Ovaltine. Uh, should we use Drown to kill the Asmo here? We take, yeah, I guess we have to kill the Asmo. So we're taking, if we don't kill the Asmo, we're taking six. If we kill the Asmo, we go to nine. If we don't kill the Asmo, we're taking seven, nine. We're dead next turn. Let's kill the Asmo. Kill the Asmo. We'll take six and go to nine and not be dead because this thing will be gone. One, another Asmo. All right, well, we're not dead next turn because this thing goes. So they have seven next turn. But we really need to draw a spell. Just in time. Let's get the Soul Guide Lantern. Um... We're going to get rid of the portal to Phyrexia, or do we get rid of the Pyrite Spell Bomb? I think we actually get rid of the Pyrite Spell Bomb here. So you just bring that back. They're doing that. Uh, I don't think we are going to win this game unless we draw a card here. I think we have to draw a card here. Okay, I think that's not good for us. I think that is not good for us. I don't seem to have any answers for Ensnaring Bridge, should we resolve one for the next game. No answers to Ensnaring Bridge for our next game. But we'll have to see what they have. I mean... We're taking five, six, seven. A 
So what do we need to draw? We need to draw like returning spring leaf drum. Are they trying to hard cast the uh Okay, we're dead next turn. Unless we get a good draw. I would have killed them if they didn't have the Amber Cool, so that sucks. And let's see what we drew. Well, that's a good way to die. Alright, we're dead. We are dead. Bit too much non action. Alright, we want the other bridge for sure. I guess we need the surgicals. Um, they're not really searching with this. Maybe we want the Tasha's to try and exile the Emrakul as well. Well, the issue is that their CMC was really high. All right, let's get rid of Fractured Sanities. Let's just bring in the Tasha's. And we didn't know for sure that they had the Emrakul, but now we do. All right, now we have the Surgicals in. We have the Soul Guides. We have the Tasha's. We have the Jaces. All right. We have a crab. The crabs. This is a very good start for us. Best possible start. Almost the best possible. If we had a Soul Guide Lantern we could play, then it would be like the best possible. But it's not. So, still pretty good, though. One red mana. What are you casting? Sure. Sure. All right. Uh, right. Let's play the Hedron Crab. Let's play you. Target you. Scrapyard Mutt. Scrap. Wow. One, two, three of the Mutts. I don't really want to do this just yet because there's no point in milling when we don't have control of the Emrakul. We need to control the Emrakul before we go crazy milling, which means we need at least at least a surgical. I will probably crack it at the end of turn, though, just to get a black source without having to pay life. Maybe I don't even do that. One Epicure. But pretty much control the Emrakul, control the game. Pretty much the way of things. One, two, discard what? Ovaltine. Asthma. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Underworld Cookbook. Alright, now I'm going to crack, because I don't mind if this thing gets shuffled away. Right? If they do have an Emrakul. And we they lose the Daredevil. That would be A-OK -okay with me. Uh, Alright. Let's play the Delta. Hit them. Hit them. All the scrapyard mutts are there. I mean, this is just RNG at this point. If we hit the Emrakul or not. We didn't hit the Emrakul. Hopefully you hit the Emrakul right here. Uh, one, two, we hit the Phyraxian Portal, two Daredevils. So there's still an Emrakul left, which is really, really, really unbelievably bad for us. Unbelievably bad for us. I wanted to mill all these cards, so maybe we hit maybe we hit the Emrakul and it shuffled back in this Daredevil. But we hit This was worst case scenario. We missed the Emrakul, left them with the Daredevil, and we didn't get the Emrakul with the Tasha's. Just worst case scenario all around. Well, if they drew it, they could just pitch it with the cookbook, right? So, that sucks. It's not a very good situation for us. Alright, at least they're not going to make Saga tokens. 
Well, we'll find out if they drew it. We'll find out if they drew it. But as of right now, they get to kill the Hedron Crab. Yeah. No blocks. Epic here. Okay, so we need to draw a lantern. Yay. Yay, lantern. All right, what do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of... I guess we get rid of a scrapyard mutt? I guess we get rid of a mutt. They're almost dead here. Uh, so we can play the Jace and mill them nine. Or we can drown the Asmo. I guess the question we have to ask ourselves is, are they going to have a Pithing Needle off this Urza Saga? I mean, if they have a Pithing Needle and 13 cards left, more power to them. Right? Maybe we just kill the Asmo. Yeah, I like I like just killing with Jace 2 next turn. Alright, let's kill this. And then let's just chill. Let's just chill. Alright, next turn Jace is straight lethal. All we gotta do is live one turn. And have them not have a Pithing Needle off this. If they Pithing Needle the Soul Guide Lantern, we will lose the game. And that will be that. But we're through most of their deck and they haven't had a Pithing Needle. So I don't think that they're going to have one now. But this could be Famous Last Words. Alright. They didn't get a Pithing Needle. They got a Cookbook. Which is fine with me. Create a food. Yes. Yeah. They should be dead now. They play Asmo. They kill the crab. Yup, yup, yup. No big deal. The only way that they would not die is if they have two Emrakuls in their hand. And we know they don't because one of the cards in their hand is a... If they have an Emrakul in their hand and an Emrakul in their library, then they'll win. I think their hand are the two, the Daredevils. That's what I think their hand is, personally. Alright. But if they have an Emrakul in their hand, they could pitch it in response to me exiling with the Soul Guide Lantern. And we would lose if they had two Emrakuls. But I don't think they're a two Emrakul lunatic. Just think they're one Emrakul lunatic. Alright, one, two, three, cast the Jace... Chase is so good at finishing games. Uh, one, two, three. Might as well do four or five. Blink. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Soul Guide Lantern is just so good. Like, imagine if that was just a surgical. We'd have to mill their entire library again. They went out on their own terms. Okay. We managed to beat them. We managed to crush them. Not crush. We got out by our, the very skin of our teeth there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the YouTube comments. They're crazy people. Alright. Speaking of crazy people, it's Tron. We are so dead here. This would be a matchup that I'd want, main deck surgicals. This is a matchup for main deck surgical. Oh no. Do I think Mill is tier one? Uh, I think it struggles against Murktide. 
I think Murktide being the best deck uh, takes it off tier one, but I think it's tier, like tier two, whereas it wasn't before. I think tier one decks are like Yogg, Hammer, Mill, Creativity. Would I play? I would play Yogmoth before I played Mill. But I have no problem playing Mill. I mean, I top aided a, cha a challenge with it last week, and I would have I would have top forward the challenge if I drew a land. So you know, I don't think it's bad. What's up, Mercurio? Thank you for giving out a tier one sub. Yeah, La Fin de Mood, giving out four subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Five subs. Five gifted subs to the community. Thank you. That's so kind. Uh, we're just dead to this. We're going to lose. They have one, two, three, Tron. Even if we had surgical, we never even mill the... Well, I guess if they just mill that. I guess we want to keep going. We want to see if they have... Uh... We want to see what they're doing, right? We want to see what kind of... Uh... If they have an Emrakul, if they have a... Ooh. Well, that's not bad. Maybe we can stop them here a little bit. All right, I guess we're going to do it the right way. We're going to go to the draw step. We're going to draw step. We want to hit which one? Which one did they search for? They searched for the power plant. So we'll hit the one that they searched for. Because that means that they didn't have another copy in their hand. Let's get an island. Alright. So they have, they're playing Golos. Cool. They just had another one in their hand. Cool. And they had Gigantha. Cool. Well, this is going well. Uh, yeah. This is going well. Target player exiles a card. Oh, fatal push! Your time to your time to go. All right. Well, let's cast this visions here. Let's cast this visions. Um. What? Oh, crabby. Let's play a little crabby. Always yield. Uh, crack. All right, one, two, three. Tasha's is gonna get four cards. <laughs> oh, Tasha's. Oh, Tasha's. Four cards. Nice. Tasha's not, Tasha's is not at its best against Tron. <laughs> Hey, let's almost one mana a card. That's like Millstone. It's better than Millstone, right? Millstone is four mana, two cards. This was three mana, four cards. Tome Scour. Yeah. Four is greater than zero. True. What is this? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we casting Karn? We're activating Golos. They got Ancient Stirrings Expedition Map. We might be able to actually kill them. Well, it's the best card against some decks. Alright, uh, we're going to cast this Jace. And the question is... Do we mill three and draw three, or do we just mill 15? I'm just going to mill 15. Yeah, it's the best against, it's the best against hammer. It's the best against, you know, these breach decks. All right, so we only have, we have to draw a card that mills seven cards. Yeah, well, all we have to do 
Uh, I guess we'll get rid of Oboro. Eight mana. Unearth the Leveler. Sure. We've been leveled. Yup. We go to one, is that right? And then they Karn wish for Walking Ballista and they ping us. Adorable. Glad they got a... Well... Even if we drew three, we are going to lose there. All right, let's go Surgicals. Let's go these. Uh, let's get rid of Cut. Let's get rid of Fatal Pushes. Let's get rid of Tasha's. Um... We kind of want disputes, right? I mean, it's better than all these cards. We don't know if they're going to have a Titan, but they'll probably have an Emrakul or something. All right, let's submit like this. Step one is to Surgical Atron Land. All our goal, our goal is Surgical Atron Land. That is our goal. 61 cards, nice. 61 cards, nice. Okay. This is perfect. I mean, Glimpse is a lot. Glimpse isn't very, you know, compare Glimpse to, like, the other cards. Glimpse is just not as good, fortunately. 10 cards just isn't enough. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be amazing. This is like what you dream of as a mill player. You sit in bed with your little crab plushies and you think to yourself, oh, this is all I want in life. Oh, there's an Emrakul. All right. Uh, first of all, step number one, let's surgical the tower. Let's surgical Urza's tower. Because fuck Tron. Oh, you had one in your hand. Oh, you hate to see that. All right. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see what they're working with. All right. So they have... Uh, just this? Three Ulamogs. So greedy. So greedy. No, this is a great thing to do, Chris. They know what they did. They know what they did. All right, so this Emrakul is it. We surgical this Emrakul, and then we don't have to worry about anything. Anything at all. All right, there's two levelers here. All right, this is what you sit with your crab plushies and your crab hoodies, and you think, oh, man... I just want to draw a surgical against Tron. This is the greatest thing ever. Get out of here. All right. So their hand is dismiss. This is great. Okay. Now we attack with the crab. Send a message. That felt good. That made me happy inside. All right. Friends. My friends, this is why you have to play the same art, right? People think that it doesn't matter. But look at this. Look, 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 look. Their hand is this. Their hand is this. And then this is in play. And then they draw a card and they play this. And then some people say, oh, well, the art doesn't matter. But what does this say to you? This says that you just drew this card. What did they draw for the turn? They drew this. How do I know that they drew this? Gee, I don't know. But this is why you always play with matching arts. Unless you're unless you're smart enough to know, right? But like if you don't play with matching arts, you'll accidentally bleed out information. So the information bled out 
they, they drew this. Sorry. Just don't do that. Right? Don't do that. Play matching arts so you don't do that. Please. Please, friends. Please. That's what I ask. Well, if you rent from Card Hoarder, you disagree about playing matching arts? But <laughs> you disagree about playing matching arts? Uh... One, two... If you are going to play matching arts, be aware of it. We're actually going to go to their draw step. Oh, yeah, yeah, play matching arts. Yeah, because, like, like Canister doesn't play matching arts. But, like, you accidentally bleed out information like this. All right, we'll let them... There's no point in killing one of these... The rental service, the good rental service, Card Hoarder, and not the shitty rental service, Mana Traders, lets you pick out the art that you want, so this doesn't happen. See, this is another reason to rent with Card Hoarder, because Card Hoarder, you get to pick your arts, and you get to say, all right, I want all of this art. Mana Traders, they're just going to give you whatever the fuck they're going to give you, and you're going to be stuck with it. Whereas Card Hoarder, the more gentlemanly and elegant system, will let you pick arts, so this kind of shit doesn't happen. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, people? Use card order. Don't use mana traders. Don't let this happen to you. I mean, they're doing this now. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, bump. Bump. Hot take, both services are great. No, mana traders sucks. No, they suck. I didn't say that for a while because I had their service, but they suck. Engineering explosives. Um, bump, 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 bump. There are times with mana traders where you just won't get the cards. They'll just go crazy and they'll just glitch out. And you'll be waiting for 10, 15 minutes and they won't deliver. And especially if you do that waiting for a tournament, you'll just get fucked over. That happened to me like four or five times. Where I would log on like 20 minutes for a tournament. I'd do a mana traders order and it would just sit there grinding. And I'd be like, well, shit. And I would just not be able to play the tournament because I couldn't get the cards in time. That happened like a bunch of times. So... Like EDH orders and stuff would sometimes take forever... With my, you know, and they just, just, card hoarders is quicker. It's 10% of whatever you want to rent. So, okay, so what do we have here? So if you want 30, 300 tickets, it's 30 bucks. 400 is 40. So it's not as good of a deal, but you can scale it up and scale it down. All right. Uh, we don't have a surgical here, right? We don't have surgical. Do we need to mulligan two surgical? Hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think we need this is like a good mill hand, but it's not a very good mill hand against Tron. I guess we're on the draw, right? Are we going to start with a shell dock? Mm, this is this is tough. This is tough. I think we lose if we keep this hand. I think the important thing with Tron is you have to stop the onslaught. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Alright. We're going to keep. What are we putting back? Now the question is, do we put back the Drown in the Lock, or do we put back... Because we're going to turn one, Crab. Turn two, Crab, maybe Cycled Fractured Sanity, to try and get a Tron Land to Surgical. 
Well, Sanity helps us dig, right? Sanity helps us get four more looks at Surgical and Gatron land. It might be Drown. We go turn one Crab, turn two Fetch, Crack, Cycle. That gives us eight looks. Drown. Okay. Now, remember, we have to beat one Emrakul as... As a deck, Tron lands. Okay, yields. To beat one Emrakul. Oh, should have put back a fetch. Boink. Yay, no dismember. Tower. Okay. Okay, so now we go. Delta. Always yield. There it is. There's the mine. Okay, so... I don't want to mill any more cards. I'm going to go to their draw step. And I'm going to hard cast... I'm going to surgical the mine in the draw step. I don't want to mill anymore. I want to get the four mines out of the deck. Uh, bad news. Uh, get you out. Out. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um. So there's two forests here. They still have the one Emrakul, right? One Emrakul. Uh, all right. Now I wish I had that drown for this. Oh, they don't, they don't have the good Karn. All right, so boink, drown. So I guess we don't have to. I guess we're cycling the fractured sanity here. Are we cycling the fractured sanity, or do we need to save it? I think our hands full of hot air, so I think we need to. Uh, we should just cycle it. We should cycle this. Another crab. You'd like to draw... Hmm. Alright. We'd like to get a bunch of milling done here. This is playing a bit of a dangerous game. But... Okay. All right, so there is a, there is a, Dingo, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. What's up, buddy? You're up late? What are you still streaming for? It's past your bedtime. Welcome, raiders. All right, so... That's this this is not good now. This is not a good situation to be in now. Cause we will hit the Emrakul at some point. But we have to Well, I kinda wanna play the Field of Ruin. But Yeah, I guess we could just pass. We have so much mill. We have the potential to mill so many. Let's just pass. Nine cards. Yeah, let's just pass. Now, it's a May. Pasagey's a May. You don't have to search, right? That player may search their library. And they played the Pasagey anyway. Gigantha, sure. All right. Let us draw. Nice. Tilt. Yeah, there's a bunch of things you could do with the Emrakul. But we wouldn't even kill them. 
All right, I'm going to play the Field of Ruin. We need to progress our board. I'm going to mill myself with the Hedron Crab, though. I'm going to mill myself with the Hedron Crab. Shit. I milled the Surgical... No. I milled the Surgical Field of Ruin in that. All right. We'll have to hope that they draw the Emrakul, I guess. That's not good. That's not good at all. What are they going to get with this? It would have been nice. Like, drawing three lands in a row is not good for us. Engineering explosives on one. Yep. Uh, I guess I block with a crab here. Block with the crab. All right. I would like very much to draw a and uh, soul guide lantern, please. Soul guide lantern. Oh fuck! I think we've lost. By the way, friends, drawing all these lands has not been not been good. Not been good. Okay, so... We could feel the ruin them with this trigger on the stack. To make them sack lands because one, two, three forests. They are dead, right? If they didn't have the Embercoil, they would die, but... I think we need to save this. Yup. We had to hope that they drew it. I mean, us drawing a bunch of lands is not helping our cause. Us drawing a bunch of lands, not helping our cause. One, two... An island. One, two. I think we have died, friends. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have died. We drew five lands in a row. When you do that, when you draw five lands in a row, it's my own fault. I should have kept the drown and lock and put back the extra fetch land. That's what I should have done. We should have kept the Drown, and, I mean, it's not statistically likely that we're going to draw this many lands, but, you know, it'll happen from time to time. And now next turn they have Karn. What are they wishing for? Probably Walking Ballista. We're dead next turn, which is lovely. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We'll just draw... A million lands in a row. And die. GG's. GG's. Too many lands. Too many lands. You see, we have all these good cards that we can draw. Like Visions. Jaces. Uh, Soul Guide Lanterns. Uh, and uh, we didn't. If we would have drawn Soul Guide Lantern at any point, we would have won that game. I guess when I chose to mill myself, I ended up killing myself because I milled Surgical Land Soul Guide Lantern. I milled these three. But that's magic. Sometimes you flood out. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, we had... A, a, there was a large number of turns that happened before that Karn came into play. Right? So, yes... At that point, it was too late. But prior to the Karn resolving, that was turn 8, right? Uh, it was game 3. So, yes, Surgicals were in the main deck. I don't know. That was uh, rough. At that point, yes, Karn 
had shut down the Soul Guide Lantern. But prior to the Karn resolving, prior to a bunch of things happening, we could have drawn a spell. Right? When we had two crabs in our hand and, you know, three lands in our hand and then proceeded to draw four more lands. That was rough. But I don't think the deck is bad. We just kind of got unlucky. Basically, it's hard to beat Emrakul. And our only losses were to Emrakul and to Murktide. We lost two times to Emrakul. And we lost to Murktide. Murktide's rough. Murktide is a rough matchup. And we drew a lot of lands. A lot of lands. To beat Mill. Yeah, people do. People do want to beat Mill. Mill can still beat people. Because none of the tier 1 decks really... Bye. Uh -huh.